My name is Bob Hadley and I'd like to welcome you to the companion video for Chasing the Elusive Thread, the Home Shop Machinist column for the May 2017 issue of Kit Planes Magazine. In this intro clip, you'll get an idea at the pace at which I work when I'm chasing threads. Feed in, stop, retract the cutter, reset the cutter, feed in a little more, and then sync up with the thread dial. All these are things I talked about in the article. This is the thread synchronization dial that I mentioned in the article. And you can see while the lead screw is turning, it turns with the lead screw, but as I engage the half nut, it stops. Un disengage the half nut, it starts spinning again. It tracks the carriage, so if I go down the same speed as the lead screw is, it stops spinning. So that's the concept of the thread synchronization dial. And you can see you can try and get it on the numbers, but you can also get it in between the numbers. It's very important when you engage it, to try and engage it right on the number, whether it's number one, number two, number three, number four. It will engage partially between them. In this case on my screw, it'll engage in two positions in between each whole number. So five, five and a third, five and two thirds, six, six and two thirds, seven, and so on. Uh, most of the time, in fact all the time, unless you're doing a special thread, you'll engage it on a whole number as indicated by the thread table. And, we'll and that indicator table provides a list of all the numbers, the whole numbers for each thread and where to engage it. For instance, eight threads per inch, numbers one through eight on the scale will synchronize. Nine threads per inch, number one and five. There's not a dash there, it's a dot, so only one and five. Same for thread 11 threads per inch, one and five. 10 threads per inch, it's one, three, five, and seven, so only the odd numbers and so on. You get the idea. And this I've already set with the compound at 29 and a half and the tool perpendicular to the part. And the compound feeds in and out like this. Okay. So, we're going to chamfer this edge. I'm just going to use the edge of the threading tool to chamfer that edge very carefully. Just like that. And then I'm going to go over here, and this is where I'm going to create the slight valley or the groove. And I'm going to zero that out. bring this in and zero it right on the it just starts to touch that's my zero and zero the dial here check that again just touching okay I'm going to take Scratch cut, in this case about five thousandths of an inch, and I'm just going to engage this on number one on the thread dial. And that's it. I stopped it right in the valley, and you can see the scratch marks on there, so I'm going to back this out, take this back out, start my, my spindle up again. Now, I don't have to check it since it's the same setting that I was in the other day when I made the part for the magazine arc. So, bring this back to zero. Which is right there. I'm going to advance it another five thousandths. And I'm going to just go ahead and engage this on number one again. And I'm just going to back it out. Go back to zero. Speed that up just a little bit. Take about, this time I'm going to take 4,000, so I'm going to start reducing my depth of cut ever so slightly every time I take a pass. Back 
back out, around, back to zero. This time I'm going to take another 4,000. I'm up to 18,000 step to cut. And we'll engage this on number one again. You can see it follows the same groove every single time. Take, this time I'll take 3,000 step to cut. And I'll engage the screw on the next one on just a random whole number, this time number six. And you can see it followed the same exact groove as the previous time. So the thread dial numbers, you can trust them. Take another 3,000. Back out, back around, zero. Add 3,000 to my cross line. I'm stopping it right in that groove. That's me pulling the thread nut, or the half nut, to disengage it. Back to zero. Now I'm just taking 1,000 at a time. I'm just nibbling at it. The way it doesn't have a lot of power, that's just what you have to do. Another 1,000, so I'm at 39,000. And it's 40,000. And I get two more thousands to go. I'm going to zero this back and turn the lathe off. Because I'm almost there, I'm going to check it against my thread gauge, the nut that I made earlier. See how close we're getting. It shouldn't fit on, but it might. And it does not, it does not fit. It starts to go, but then it jams up. Which shows you we've got a little bit more to go. Okay, we cut our number, now we'll check the nut, and just like that, she throws in. So perfect. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more about threading on the lathe, just go to YouTube and search threading on a manual lathe. You'll find tons of examples and lots of great advice from some top-notch machinists. Thanks.